Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash and we are looking at the Tojiro DP Neske 150mm knife. So this is a Japanese uh, poultry boning knife, fairly specific in its uh, you know, intended tasks. The core steel on this is VG10 full stainless steel. He treats around 60 Rockwell in that core steel, so it's not super hard, and that gives you a little bit of forgiveness, uh, which is nice in this style of knife when you're working around bones and such. Remember that these are meant to process poultry but not go through bones, so the tips are meant to go through joints and work your way around tight areas, rib cages, you know, various things to get meat off and get things processed. Um, they have a stiff, confident feel to the blade, so they're fairly stiff at the top. Um, and that's the way they're intended to, to be, you know, to feel and how to be used. So it's a fairly limited scope type knife. The uh, construction is three layers. So on either side of that hard core steel, you've got a soft stainless cladding. Um, so it's a full stainless blade. The weight on this is 182 grams or 6.4 ounces. And so it's got a fairly hefty feel to it because of the thickness of the blade and a, you know, full size uh, Western handle. The Edge length on this is right about six inches on the money, 152 millimeters, and the overall length about just slightly under 11 inches. Spine thickness is, um, these are pretty thick, so it's about 3.15 millimeters coming out of the bolster, right above the heel here, back of the heel, the chin. Then I measure about halfway down, it's about the same, a little over three millimeters. And then it doesn't really thin up much until you get towards the tip. And you can see it starts to thin down a little bit, and then the very tip where the grind hits, um, it gets thinner, of course, where you get the very, very tip, and especially the actual final edge bevel. Blade height is about 37.9 millimeters, about 38 millimeters on it. And the handle is a um, black pack of wood handle. Um, I'm looking really, the reason I'm pausing, I'm looking really carefully at it, just to make sure it might not be like palm resin or micarta. It's not micarta. If it is um, black pack of wood, they've done a nice job. It's a tight pack of wood. Uh, I don't see much grain in it. So it's possible on this model versus the other knives since it's used around chicken and such and you get goo all over it, they might have chosen to do like a palm or Duracon handle, possibly. I might have to have Mark check that out for the product page. But anyway, so the handle's nicely done. Fit and finish on the blade is good. Um, you've got a little bit of sharpness on the corners of the spine and some sharpness on the choil as well. Those could quickly quickly be uh, cleaned up just a touch with some strips of sandpaper if you felt the need. Let's take a close-up look at it. Here's kind of our beauty shot. So this is a single bevel style. Um, it's not a 50-50, so this is really a right-hand type grind for right-hander. Uh, the back side of the blade, the left side of the blade as you hold it is flat. And there's a small, there's like a micro bevel on the back side. And then the right side of the blade, the front, if you're a right hand user, has uh, the flat and then it kind of curves down towards the edge. So it's not like a true full on single bevel with like a zero grind, like a Yanagiba or something like that. But it does curve down and is shaped on the right side of the blade. And then you've got a edge bevel on the right side of the blade. The left side again is basically flat. So this is not a ambidextrous knife. You've got um, nice brush finish on it uh, with the vertical marks on it. And then you've got your screened in kanji and a logo and such on it. Out of the box edge was really nice on this, a like six or seven out of 10, takes a nice edge. Um, here's another, again, a repeat of the spine shot. It's a stiff blade. It's got a fairly long handle as well. Um, it's got a longer handle than some of the other uh, Western Honeske knives. So if you've got bigger hands or wider hands, you can see even for me, you can get, you got plenty of room here for that catch on the back of the blade there. So let's take a look at what it looks like on the cutting board, just in case some people like to grab these if they have it out, maybe use it for a few things. So here's what it looks like on the cutting board. And you've got plenty of clearance for fingers there because of the angle that this blade is created and how the handle comes in with the spine on an angle towards the board. So in a pinch, you could use this for a few things, although it's not going to be a super laser or anything like that. But stiff, confident blade. If you've got bigger hands and you want a little bit bigger handle, uh, this you know might be a good option for you. So this is the Tojiro DP Neske 150 millimeter knife.